resonated with you. Yes, okay. Well, I've just come back from Shanghai this morning uh, where I met uh, many Singaporeans and they told me, they said, Mrs. Chiu, please tell Singaporeans to vote wisely. They have spent time in another country looking at Singapore from the outside. They know the competition is very keen. They know that what we do influences the thinking of decision makers, of investors, and they want me to convey the message that really the election is about helping us to build a better future for all Singaporeans. And all the other noise, all the other tempting promises that are being put forward, they want me to convey their concern that Singaporeans may be misled. So I think when we unveiled today's manifesto, uh, Prime Minister also talked about um, us focusing on the real issues that matter and about how we need to really stay united. When we use the term staying united, sometimes I think it sounds very abstract. Who is our enemy? Who are we trying to fight? Why do we need to stay united? But actually, the enemy is not a person, it is not an organisation. It is about the competition out there and how we Singaporeans must align our thinking, align our hopes and vision for the future and work together. So staying united is not just a slogan. There is real meaning and there is real purpose in having to do so for the future. Do you think that there's a risk of ordinary Singaporeans of, you know, um, losing sight of that or sort of dismissing uh, this manifesto as yet another, you know, the same sort yes. of messages that they are being sent? No, I don't think that uh, we should uh, dismiss the concerns of Singaporeans. Yes, we want to build a future, but there are always day-to-day -day concerns that we have to deal with. So, for example, cost of living. It's not something that we can ask Singaporeans to do and say that, you know, don't worry about it, you know, because we will build a better future. It's really something that we have to make an effort to address. So, therefore, the Grow and Share package is one immediate method of relieving the higher uh, cost of living and the pressures that it has caused on families and I think I'm very convinced that this is a government that if there is a need to do more it will not hesitate to do so and one of the other things that Singaporeans told me in Shanghai is that you know the way we have solved problems in Singapore by the PAP government makes things look so easy that we forget that many of these social pressures also exist outside of Singapore so that's the call that they asked me to make and I said okay if I find the right opportunity Good.